Hey there, this is Mr. Reaver here, and this is lesson three of your scale model unit. And we're going to learn how to make scale copies. So after this lesson, you need to be able to draw a scale copy of a figure using the scale factor that they give you. You need to be able to know what operation, so add, subtract, multiply, or divide, that you use to produce a scale copy and you need to be able to keep your angles the same when you're creating a scale copy. So you'll know you're successful after this lesson if you can draw an accurate scaled copy and you know that scale copies involve multiplication. So how can we make a scale copy? Well, if you remember from the previous lesson, the scale factor is what you multiply every distance and side by from the original to our scale copy. So if I want to make a scale copy with a scale factor of 2, that means I am multiplying everything by 2. So I'm going to start. Here I have the center of our original. I'm going to just choose a spot on my graph paper for the center of my scale copy. Now, in my original, it is three spaces up. So I drew the same as the original three up. But I need to make it with a scale factor of two. So I'm going to multiply that by two, and my scale copy will have a side of six going up. The same thing going to the left. Originally it was three to the left. Well, if I have to double that, now it's six to the left. The angled piece that connects those two, it was three diagonals. Now it's six diagonals, doubled. I can follow the same process for going down, it was 3, now it's 6, and to the right, it was 3, now it's 6. Everything is doubled. The last diagonal should fit nicely. My original had 3 diagonals, so my scale copy has 6. Everything is doubled. If I were to check my angles, they should all be the same. So in the middle here, I have a right angle Okay, going up and to the left, and a right angle going down and to the right. The same as I had before. My corners of my triangles, okay, they perfectly cut across each square. And if I look, it perfectly cut across each square. Okay, I don't know the exact measures, but I can judge that they are equal based on where they cut across the squares. Let's look at a different type of scale copy. So this one has a scale factor of one half. Well, when the scale factor was two, we multiplied everything by two and it made it larger, it doubled it. Now, if we multiply everything by one half, we are cutting it in half. So I'm gonna pick my point to start and if my original was four tall, well, what's half of that? It's now only going to be two squares tall. Half of four is two. Okay, it was four squares wide, but again, only half of it. It was four, now it's two. What happens if you forget to do your scale factor? Well, if you notice, uh, it was too tall and now it's still too tall. Does it look like it's going to produce the same shape in the end? No, I no longer have that diagonal piece. To finish it off, it would be straight across, which is not what we want. So make sure everything is multiplied by your scale factor. So it was too high, now it's one high. And 
for the diagonal, if you think about this, it went down one over two, down one over two. So it did it twice, okay? This time, it only does that down one over two once. So it followed the same pattern, but it still cut it in half, okay? So if you see a fraction scale factor, it's probably gonna make it smaller, like a half. So what if we don't follow our rule of multiplying to make our scale copies? So let's say we were trying to add four instead of multiply by four. Well, originally it is four tall. So if I were to add four to that, it should now be eight squares tall. Okay, nothing seems wrong yet. It was four wide, now it's eight wide. Four plus four is eight. Again, nothing seems wrong yet. Let's look at our next one. We had two squares going up. Well, adding four would now make it, so we need six squares going up. Okay, now how do we connect that last diagonal piece? Well, remember, we have to have the same angles. Okay, so this one had the, it cut across two squares down one over two going from corner to corner so we need to follow that same angle pattern that was our original angle pattern if we were to add four would it go like that or would it go like that either way it doesn't connect with our shape it is no longer a scale copy so it doesn't matter which side we start with that last diagonal piece isn't going to connect. So we need to multiply to make our scale copy. Adding or subtracting, those things are not going to work. All right. In this lesson, we learned how to create scale copies and how that involves multiplying our lengths, our side lengths or our distances by our scale factor. We have an example here. We had a triangle that started with 8. If we wanted to multiply by a scale factor of 4, our new triangle would be 32 because we had to multiply by 4. Our scale factor was 4. After this lesson, do you know how to draw a scale copy based on the given scale factor? And do you know what operation you need to use to create your scale copy? And that is it for lesson three on making scale copies.